Well, hello, Gemini, and thank you for watching my July 2014 forecast. And I want to try to get this out early because I believe that July, June, excuse me, June is a preparation for what's going to be happening in July. And I want everyone to really be getting excited for Jupiter moving into Leo. So, you know, we've had a lot of things going on in this watery Jupiter and Cancer uh, transit this last year. A lot of issues that have to do with Mother. Um, but I want to talk, I'll get back to that in a minute for you guys, but I want to talk about Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde has been retrograde June 7th through July 2nd in Gemini, in your first house. It kind of goes back into Cancer and then it works its way back into Gemini. So, you know, um, uh, this has been, this is, this is going to really bring you guys out from behind the scenes. Geminis have kind of been hiding behind the scenes because all of the big planetary configurations haven't really been pointing their finger at you guys. So you've been able to kind of hide behind the scenes and trying to figure things out. And now Mercury has gone retrograde in your first house. And it is having you take a look at what the heck is going on. What has happened the last year? What has, um, what has come to life for you? What are your plans? What are you going to do? <laughs> There's a lot of, you know, crazy transits. And they're highlighting a lot of different areas of your life. But right now, it's about your identity. For many of you who are teachers, this is your time off for the summer. And, you know, you're finishing grades and you're finishing the behind-the-scenes stuff, the last-minute problems that, that come up from work. Um, you know, but again... It's really having you take a look at your identity. It's having you take a look at what's been going on behind the scenes. You know, are you living authentically? Are you being honest with yourself and with others? Um, it can bring up questions to, to, you know, your part in life. Because this is your identity, it can bring up issues of health. It can bring up, you know, a retrograde unveils our subconscious. It also can unveil, you know, things in our life we haven't been taking care of. And this is getting you ready. This is like, you know, go back, clean all this stuff up. Your relationships, the things that you just, they just haven't been right. Can you make them right now? You know, how can you do that? Or can you at least make them right within yourself? This is going to be about you. And, you know, when when Mercury goes retrograde for Geminis and Virgos, it can be even more influential, more powerful, because we are so used to that Mercurian energy. You know, it's going forward. It's going to the left. It's going to the right. And we keep right up with it. That's the one thing I love about Geminis is that if I get together with a Gemini, a Virgo and a Gemini can keep up talking. And that's that Mercurian energy. Well, right now, it's slowing down. And it's slowing down in an area that's, you know, really, really important. It's, it's who you are. And it's having you take a look at it. It's having you really take a look at it. Um, Jupiter will be moving into Leo July 17th. And for Gemini, that's going to be in your third house. That is your communication to the world to your cousins, to your friends, to your brothers, to your sisters, to local community. You may have already started feeling this desire to be a part of groups, to be a part of social interaction. Um, with Leo there, that gives you that strong, strong demanding ability <laughs> to state your case. Um, it's a very powerful place to have the sun. And so, although you guys have been kind of hiding behind the scenes, you may find that you suddenly want to voice all of these things that are in your heart, you know, how you feel about things, your moral, moral, your moral um, inclinations. Um, you might feel stronger about your opinions. You know, maybe you've had them over here the last year with, with Jupiter in uh, Cancer, that's been your second house. 
with Jupiter and Cancer, that's been your in your second house all year long. So, yes, expanding your daily your daily money uh, ways to make money, your values, you know. But again, whenever we see that, whenever we see Cancer, um, I always think right off the bat of mother. It can bring about issues of your mother or mother figures in your life. And that's your values, you know, that's what do you value? How are you going to work on that relationship? Um, how are you going to care for, take care of those areas? Are you respecting your mother? <laughs> you know, those are all big issues. But again, with Jupiter moving into Leo in your third house, now you're going to have some help. Now you can reach out to your community. Um, now you can have a voice. So I see a stronger Gemini coming. And I want to prepare you that, you know, December, Saturn will be moving into Sagittarius. That will be your partnerships. And that will be your relationships. So right now, while you have the chance, the next six months, you are set up right now. One, to take a look at yourself. To be honest with yourself, to be willing to, to take a look at um, how you're presenting yourself to the world, what's really in your heart. Um, it's also a time to really wash and heal from things. Uh, another little uh, tidbit, astrological tidbit, is uh, Chiron in Pisces is also going retrograde this month. And that is the Wounded Healer. And that is in your eighth house. So there's some healing still to do there, Gemini. You still have a lot going on. You know, you guys like to just flutter about, and a lot of times people don't know what you're really going through. But, you know, with, with Jupiter moving into Leo, you're going to be reaching out for help. You're going to be reaching out to your community. Um, you know, a lot of parties, a lot of networking. Get out there and start being a part of things and prepare yourself make those relationships right now you know do right by those things the next six months so that when you move into Saturn you know he will be able to help you maintain and help you you know connect and stay on track it's when we don't take care of these things and we you know fall into a Saturn unprepared that a lot of times we get that discipline father fit father finger um, we get that disciplinarian through Saturn and and you know we spend a whole year cleaning up a mess that we could have cleaned up that could have been cleaned up ahead of time so I hope that makes sense um, I'm gonna keep my eye on you guys and I want to just say you know get out there feel confident and get ready okay Happy July.